my friend on from Washington, D.C. It is Tyrone Walker. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. It is good to hear your voice. It's been a while, and um, if anybody knows what's going on in D.C., here's the guy. Let me just give a little preference to the, the folks have, who don't know Tyrone Walker. If you're ever going to Washington, D.C., you got to call this guy because he's good. Are you still doing the limo driving? Uh, right now, I am not because of this COVID-19 pandemic yeah. this world we're living in. Oh, man. It's been shut down. So you still get out and about on the streets of uh, Washington. You know what's going on. I get out and about and still see what's going on. And my ear is to the to the heart of the city. Well, let's do this. From the news reporter on the ground, Tyrone Walker in Washington, D.C., what does it look like this morning? Well, Paul, first of all, my last name is Warner, W-A-R-N-E-R. You know what? I did not know that. I thought it was Walker. It is Warner. I'm okay, sorry, well, sir. The good thing, good thing about making mistakes early in the day, you ain't got to wake, wake no more later on. I got it now. We, we got you taken care of. <laughs> okay. So, so what was your question? My question is, what do you see, Tyrone, on the streets this morning? I see that given what has happened with this COVID uh, pandemic and people being shut in for so long mm-hmm. and then getting the break and it's we're starting to release what's going on now that so many people are out of work and so many people are hurting, be it black, black, white, Hispanic, or whoever. I think this country has never seen anything like this, but I just think that the unrest of what has happened in Washington over the last few days is uh, in on the heels of the uh, murder, the murder of the brother, and that where the police officer did what he did, mm-hmm. and the response to the government the way they handled it. I think that for every action there was a reaction, and they just had the bad reaction. It was short. It was slow in responding to what happened, and this is what it, this is what caused the unrest and the looting and everything that just happened. So what you're saying is the environment was charged because of everybody was kind of pent up a little bit in the house and and they just wanted to get out and so that added to it in one way or the other. It just didn't help it. It didn't help it at all because when they first went, they were just we were just on the on the cusp of being mm-hmm. able to. The mayor had just said that the that he opened up the city and begin to open up certain restaurants. They were open to curbside dining, and certain businesses were just beginning to open up. Businesses that were hurt, being shut for three months, and they had no money coming in, and you know, and it was just, it just became, just the people just became, and then this happened. It just added, and I think what happened is that if we go back and look at what happened where the gentleman that was jogging you remember that story with the black gentleman was jogging and he was yeah. killed yeah. right and then on top of that then you had the lady that was uh the police officers went into the wrong house and they they killed the wrong person they had a no knock warrant it was just it was just adding insult to injury on top of on top of on top of and then it was just so blatant when we saw the gentleman we saw the police officer on, on had his had his foot on the neck of the gentleman, and he kept saying, "I can't breathe, I yep. can't breathe." Yep. And he, you know, and then you have a, the governor that's the the not the governor, the, the mayor of that city saying, "If he could, if he could, if he could talk, he could breathe." Which, how asinine is that? Yeah. Well, I, I got to ask you this too, if, if, because you have your ear to the ground a lot uh, in that city. Do you see, or, or do, do you? Can you? Because we we're getting more and more reports. There's so many people from outside instigating this too. We had r- stories by, and I had a story this morning. Well, I actually saw the video uh, of a car full of uh, white. It was four whites. Of, I think it was three or four whites. I know there was one in the back seat. So it was three or four whites in a vehicle, and they were rolling down the window every time they saw a, a young uh, African-American on the streets, 13, 14 years old or older, didn't matter, and, and, and offered them a brick. Um, and we were seeing, you know, pile pallets of bricks uh, being unloaded by these nefarious vans and, and trucks. And there's a lot of outsiders going on. Do you feel that in Washington, D.C.? 
Yes. Unfortunately, Washington is called the DMV, District Maryland and Virginia. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it, it kind of borders on, you could literally be on one side of the street and cross over and be in Maryland. You could literally, I mean, 10 minutes from, 10 minutes you could be from Washington, D.C. to 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 Virginia. And, you know, unfortunately, racism isn't, isn't, <clears throat> isn't, it's just taught. It's a generation curse. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's, just, you know, it, it, we don't, we, we're not born racist. We, some, you know. Some some of my best friends are you know are not 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 African American. You, you know, know what, Tyrone? I'm, 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 we had to get you on a little bit late this morning, but I promise you because I want to get your viewpoint on it, and you uh, you do a great job, Tyrone Warner. If we could call you back a little bit later on and get you on again uh, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to do that. So uh, please uh, be with us and, and join us if we uh, when we do that, Tyrone Warner. Going to take a break here. We got news coming up, and after that, Burl Kane will be in.